is the view from our Airbnb. We're in the French countryside. After settling into our Airbnb, we came into the city. This is the Church of St. Joan of Arc. It's a Catholic church in the city center. And it was completed in 1979 in the ancient market square where Joan of Arc was burned at the stake for heresy in 1431. This is in the church, and you can buy a candle and light it for someone. When we left our Airbnb and were driving to our next destination, we found this brocante. We weren't mapping it out, but we saw it and had to stop. He had a lot of really cool items, and the prices were really... I considered pretty reasonable. Yep, there's my lamp before I bought it. When we arrived at our second Airbnb destination, I had to set it out to take a look. And when we got it home, I had to inspect it. He told us that it was not in working condition and we bought it on the premise. We would only use it for decor and here's the reason why. Someone had tried to convert this into a lamp, an electrified lamp. It's a disaster. It's unusable. taking it apart to clean it. I don't know if this chimney is the right size. The crown of this is salvageable, but obviously not the burner. The crown is nickel-plated brass. First I'll use some Wright's copper polish. It's good to use on pewter. This is pewter and marble. And I'm using a toothbrush because it's easier to get in some of the deeper areas and the Dremel polishing head. This is just like a cotton polishing head. It's easier to get into the deep crevices that way. And now for the peak, which is a all metal polish essentially. It also does ceramic and glass. And I used it on the marble pillar part as well later, but I don't show that. I used two different types of polishing cream, the Wrights and the Peak, because the Wrights strips it off really fast, uh, a little faster than the Peak, but the Peak 
brings it to a really high sheen. I mean, I could use only Peak. Peak is a little bit more expensive, so I like to use the lesser expensive product to take off most of the tarnish first. And then it makes it easier to polish with the Peak. To replace the burner, I got this eBay find, and it was actually cheaper than buying only the burner part that I needed. So it came with a crown. It's a brass crown instead of the nickel-plated brass, but all I really need is the burner, and it really won't show once it's in the lamp. The crown I can keep for another project if I need a crown and use the old crown. The only problem with the used one sometimes is they're not in the greatest of shape. This one was a little bent. <laughs> it's quite a difference though. One's ger uh, actually, I think they're both uh, German-made. It's the kerosene. And I had to get a new wick to of the right size to, to fit in the new burner. So I've taken my good sewing scissors and I've trimmed the wick slightly in a curve. I don't think you always have to do this but I was having trouble with this burner because it's a little bit bent. Now this opening you have to make sure that the wick is no larger the size this opening so you have to have the right size wick. So and now you know I have it way up high. I'm going to tr trim this part off so that it's level with the top of the burner. And now they recommend that your wick is, you know, roughly eight inches long. So I'm going to cut this now that it's cut to the right size I'm going to soak the wick in oil in the kerosene oil most of these old lamps are missing the lampshade and only have the chimney and n not unusual because I'm sure they dropped and broke them <laughs> fairly often. So it took me a couple weeks of searching for a, an antique one from France and I just got it in the mail. Now I hope that it fits. Yes. Okay, I'll take the burner now with the soaked wick.
and <laughs> that was my phone notification, not yours. Put on the chimney. And move it to its location and I'll go from there. It's always exciting lighting these for the first time in decades. At least half a century probably since that was last used. And by the way, I did have to order a new chimney one size larger to get this to burn properly and so that soot didn't collect on the inside. So it's a good thing the old chimney broke because it forced me to measure properly to get the right size chimney. This is my favorite lamp parts provider in Germany, Stuga Cabana. I was wrong, the original manufacturer of the burner was French. And here's Stuga Cabana's wicks. Just some before and after pictures. And moving right along, we got a pair of these wall-mounted kerosene lamps that were not working when we bought them. They're brass, all brass holders and fittings. I got this ultrasonic cleaner. It's really good for the initial clean of all the petroleum and all that kind of stuff and then polishing with just peak goes a lot faster. I don't need the rights in addition. This one with the saran wrap on top is full of oil. I just didn't want it to evaporate. I tried to light it and it didn't work. And here are the two burners from both those lamps. They're both different but essentially the same size. I've already polished the ones on the left. I need to polish the one on the right. And the same deal with the fonts that hold the kerosene oil. 
the interesting thing is when we bought this pair, we thought they were identical, and they weren't. They also did not have the right size wicks, and the wicks were very old anyway, so I needed to order new ones. This is the initial cleaning with only peak polish and it was, I'm telling you, a hell of a lot of work just to, because of all the nooks and crannies. And I still have this one to go. This has all kinds of excess metal from the mold that oozed out and poor quality, no one cleaned it up. And so I'm gonna be cleaning up all of this excess metal with my Dremel. Just a note, I am wearing goggles and a mask. I had to use three different heads for my Dremel for the various sizes of areas I was working with. In the end, I used this Dremel. This one on the right is from the Dremel and on the left from only a cloth and polish. So I'm gonna finish up doing some Dremel on this one. <laughs>